Hi everyone, welcome back. Now coming to the next subject that was embedded systems. So embedded system is one of the important uh, subject you need to know because in our daily lives we are seeing so many electronic gadgets and so many electronic equipments. So we uh, in which uh, equipments in which so, uh, devices these embedded systems are using that we have to be known. So daily uh, in our daily life we are using the co personal computer system but in personal computer systems we are not using the embedded system embedded processor we are using only the general purpose processor and if you are seeing that televisions or micro ovens and uh, washing machines in all these uh, equipments uh, devices we are using the embedded systems. So uh, you need to know what exactly the embedded system was okay so let me explain you with the, first the definition what exactly the embedded system was so uh, actually before going to know this embedded system first you need to know what is a system exactly system a system is nothing but it is an arrangement in which all its units assemble work together according to the set of rules a systematic approach we will say a systematic approach means they are following some set of rules set of equipments or all uh, combined together and performing some operation that you call it as a system a system it is an arrangement arrangement in which all its units so whatever the components that are present all its components assemble means combine assemble work together work together according to set of rules that you call it as a system so let's take the example a watch a watch is a time displaying system let me show you the example is a watch which is used as a time displaying time you call it as a time displaying system so this watch is a system which is showing the time so its components follow a set of rules to show the time so this watch component is going to follow a set of rules to show the time suppose if one of its part fails let's take any one of the part that is present on the watch is failed the watch will stop working okay so therefore we can say in a system all its components depends on each other so whatever the units that are present those units are depends upon one and another that you call it as a system so before going to know about the subject the first thing is you need to know the basic concept if you know the concept then you are able to understand the coming topics okay so the system is nothing but it is an arrangement in which all its units assemble work together according to set of rules that is a particular a system so if in the system whatever the components that are present that each component or each unit it depends upon one and another now let's see the embedded system so what is this embedded system embedded means it is also a combining a system with having some set of rules so here this embedded system has contained uh, consists of three main constraints that is embedded system it is combined combination of software and hardware it is a combination of software and hardware and this embedded system is designed to perform a particular task it is designed to perform a particular task particular task so the task has to be completed in a given time so this is the main constraint so whatever the task that we have taken that task has to be completed completed in a 
given time. So that you call it as an embedded system. Whenever you asked about what is the definition of embedded system, you have to tell that embedded system is a combination of software and hardware which is designed to perform a particular task that has to be completed within a given time. That you call it as an embedded system. So let me explain with examples. So let's take the examples or mobile phones, mobile phones, washing machine, uh, micro oven okay so there are a lot of uh, examples out there so let me take one of the example and uh, explain this definition whatever the system you have taken whether the mobile phones or washing machine or micro oven so whatever the system you have taken that system is a combination of hardware as well as a software it is a combination of hardware and software. If you take the washing machine, washing machine is having the hardware components. If you want to run that hardware component, you, you need to install some software, means uh, uh, the real-time system. So the frequency oscillation, the generator, uh, how much time it has to be taken to complete this operation for drain, for raise, rinse and for wash. So like that. And for micro oven, for micro oven, if it takes a lot more time, the cooking time uh, means uh, for some items will keep so much of time for another you keep some time so like that for for convention one method and for only uh, heating and for grilling so like that whatever the hardware components are there for that hardware components you need to combine the software and here i'm saying it is designed to perform only the particular task so whatever the system you have taken, that system is working uh, only to perform particular tasks. So what is washing machine will do? The washing machine will perform only one single task. What the task? It is used to wash the cloths. That's it. Okay. So for washing cloths, what it requires? It requires the hardware and the software. So the hardware means set of components means uh, a drain mission and some uh, some different components. All the units are assembled. So whatever the units that are present in the washing machine, all units has to be assembled and work together according to set of rules. According to set of rules means it's software. So that has to be completed in a given time. So whatever the particular task that washing machine is doing, whether it is draining or it is rinsing or it is washing the clothes, that has to be completed in a given time. A time is set for the washing machine to wash the clothes. It's a one hour, 55 minutes or 30 minutes. It's a, if you're putting quick drain means it has to complete it in 30 minutes. So whatever the task that has taken, that has to be completed in a given time. Okay, so that is a washing machine. So if you take that just like an example of micro oven, so this is also, uh, oven is also working. It's consisting of set of hardware components uh, installed with software and, and it is designed to perform only the particular task that is a cooking and the task has to be completed in a given time. So that you call it as embedded system. So don't be confused. Whenever they asked about embedded system, you had to tell embedded system is a combination of software and hardware and it is designed to perform only the particular task. Only it is not like computer system. So it's, if you take the general purpose system, whatever the personal computers you are having, those are the general purpose system. They are doing lot of things. Okay. So it's not depends upon a particular uh, task. They are doing so many of things. It's having so many of components, so many of processor. But whereas an embedded system means only performing particular tasks, just like washing machine, micro oven, mobile phones. Mobile phones is only for uh, communication, for transferring the data. So whatever the voice communication. So the task, whatever the task that you have taken, that has to be completed in a given time. That is a deadline. So this is a definition of embedded system. So I hope you understand what exactly the embedded system was. Thank you.